Hi everyone and welcome back, my name is Tristan and I saw some questions from people asking how to record video from Captura mode and so I figured I'd go ahead and make a quick little video showing you how to do it. Now the first thing that we need to do is we need to obviously get into Captura mode and so you probably already know how to do that. Then what you want to do is you kind of want to set up your scene if you want to do like any sort of remote then you can do that. Then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll start whatever motion it is that I want and then I'll hurry and I'll hit C and then I'll move forward using the T key while I record from whatever camera angle I want. Now you can move your camera around as you're doing this. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, my only advice is not to screw up the shot like I did here. Now. That's setting up the scene. To actually record the shot, then what I use is a program called XSplit. Now you can also use something called OBS, which is the Open Broadcasting Software, if I'm not mistaken. But the only thing is that you will need some sort of editing software to adjust and cut, trim the video afterwards. Whereas with XSplit, then it actually has a system built into the platform so you can do that natively. Now if you're going to be using XSplit, then what you want to do is you will start your recording by going to your outputs and then selecting local recording. And then as soon as you're finished recording, you're going to do the same thing. Now to actually find your videos afterwards, the easiest thing to do is go to the tools menu and select recordings. Now from this particular window, we can actually edit our videos. We're going to click on where it says express edit. The first thing that we want to do is we want to remove the whole beginning section of the video that doesn't really have anything useful. So we're going to get to the point where we want the video to start and then we're going to cut the video by clicking this button over here. After that we select the clip that we don't want and we press the delete button and it will remove it from our scene. And then we're going to follow the same process to remove the ending of the video. And now our 15 minute video is a 6 second clip of our Warframe and its emote. So we're going to save this by clicking on the save as option in order to preserve the original clip. And then to export it we're going to click here where it says export. And I typically just leave everything in an mp4. Uh, it works fine for Facebook, works fine for YouTube, for Instagram, for pretty much anything else. And then we begin the rendering process. Now rendering times will vary based on how long the video clip is, what it's recorded as, so like if it's a 1080p, you know, 60 frames per second, or if it's like a 4K video, it's going to take a lot longer than a 720. And of course it also has a lot to do with your computer itself, so if you have a faster computer, it's going to render a lot faster. And with that, we have our finished video. Now if you do want to get into something a little bit fancier, I personally use Adobe Premiere to edit my videos, which you can see here. And again, we can do the same thing. We can trim a little bit from the front, trim a little bit from the back export it and then we have our video and it looks really good. Now if you don't have Adobe Premiere, one of the programs that I actually recommend and it's completely free if you guys want to use it is called HitFilm and I'll leave a link to that in the description. And it's a very very powerful video editing and special effects software so if that's something you want to learn how to do, HitFilm is a great place to start. But again all this really does is it gives you some more options as far as actually editing your video so if you want to do slow motion, if you want to do you know, sound effects or anything like that, or any other sort of like transition effects, then this is how you would do that. But that's how the process works. And then again, once we're finished with the video, we're going to export it, and then we can upload it and share it to wherever we want. And that's how it works. Now, if you do have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below, and I will do my best to answer them. Please keep in mind that I am not exactly an Adobe Premiere expert or anything like that. My video editing skills are there. They work. But it's something that I'm working on. And like I said, if this can help other folks, then I'm happy to do so. My name is Tristan. Have yourselves an excellent day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.